Okay, let's set up the settings.py file so that you can access all the great media files. The settings.py is generally in the app name that is the same name as your project. So in this case, go into the gallery subdirectory and there's settings.py. Open it up. Let's review the top of the file first. If you recall, there is a base directory that was already set up for you. The base directory just tells the settings.py file and the rest of the programs where is the root directory of your project. We're going to use that root directory to create the media root directory. So it's just going to be a subfolder off of the main project root. We're going to use os.path.join. This is a standard Python library. It's for the system. All it does, it joins the two different directories. The reason we can't just use a plus sign and add them together with string concatenation is that different operating systems like Windows or Mac or Linux, they may handle the files differently. So to get around that, Python uses this os.path system and it works out just great. So we've got the media root. Now we create the media URL and we're going to use this in the urls.py file. Remember, it's media underscore root and media underscore URL. So the urls.py file is in that same folder we have to import a few Django modules. The first one is uh, django.conf.urls.static. The import static. Next one is django.conf, import settings. So you don't have to remember this. Uh, you can easily refer to the Django documentation. You'll probably use the same command in many of your Django projects. So you can look at a previous project, you can use this project as a reference, or go to the Django documentation. I think a lot of times you'll start off with just a cut and paste, or copy and paste, of an older project that you built, and drop it into your newer one. So at the end of the URL patterns list, so at the end of the right square bracket, drop in a plus sign, keyword static, left parentheses settings dot media underscore URL, comma, document underscore root. And it's the settings dot media root that you just created. So these two constants are in the settings dot pi file that you just created. You click back to it, you can see that you just created media underscore root, media underscore URL. Okay, so we got the settings.py file configured. Let's uh, test it out and see whether the Django server can serve up our images so at least we can after we upload it we can see it and do a test that way run the server python manage.py run server so this should be familiar to you right now so just go to localhost colon 8000 slash admin in this case i've already logged in um, if you if you're not logged in you may have to log in with your username and password and then you'll see this screen Click on your app, the Theta Images. Click on the first object. You're going to have to re-upload the files. Django processes it a bit, the location, when you upload it. So let's re-upload it, save it again. Now we'll, we'll just test it. So there's a link there in the Images file, and it's serving up the image. It's looking good. 
it's an Eckert rectangular format. So in the next video, we'll cover what is Eckert rectangular images, how do you process this into a uh, 360 image, or how, how do you navigate it, and the, the different formats of it. Some other special features of the Eckert rectangular images. Let's also change the other file. So underwater scuba adventure in Cozumel, Mexico. Save it. So just re-uploaded it again, saved it, test it. And it works. Beautiful Cozumel diving underwater with the Rico Theta V and the TW1 case underwater. So we'll package these up so you can download the sample media and explain a bit about how these images are just a little different than the normal images that you work with.